Let's do a calculation where we calculate ionization energy. We're going to look at a system where we bathe rubidium atoms in ultraviolet light. That'll eject electrons, and those electrons will travel off with a certain kinetic energy, and we'll measure that. So knowing the kinetic energy of the electrons and the amount of energy from the photons of light, we can calculate the kinetic energy. Start again. Let's do a calculation where we calculate ionization energy. What we're going to do is we're going to take rubidium atoms and bathe them in ultraviolet light. That ultraviolet light will ionize the rubidium atoms. Electrons will leave with a certain kinetic energy. We can measure that kinetic energy. Now, the ultraviolet radiation that comes in has to do two things. Some of the energy goes into ionizing the rubidium atoms. The rest of the energy goes into the kinetic energy. So I know the sum of the kinetic energy and the ionization energy is the photon energy. It looks kind of like this. The electrons are trapped in a well, and you have to ionize them, and then any additional energy will be kinetic energy. These two energies together make up the photon energy that the system experiences. So the photon is split into two things, ionizing plus kinetic energy. So let's actually calculate this for rubidium atoms that are under ultraviolet radiation at 58.4 nanometers. And they're ejecting electrons at 2450 kilometers per second. Now this is called a photoelectron spectroscopy experiment. Ultraviolet radiation, measure the kinetic energy of electrons emitted. So I know the kinetic energy and the ionization energy add to give the photon energy. So I can calculate the ionization energy from the photon energy and the kinetic energy. Kinetic energy of an electron at 2450 kilometers per second. We've done these kind of things before. 1 half times the mass of the electron times the velocity squared. And I write the velocity in meters per second to always operate in kilometers, uh, excuse me, meters, kilograms, and seconds. That'll give me joules when I calculate an energy. In this case, 2.74 times 10 to the minus 18th joules of kinetic energy for those photoelectrons. So from that and the photon energy, I can calculate the ionization energy. So the photon energy I'll cast in terms of the wavelength, because that's the parameter I have. Planck's constant times the speed of light divided by the photon wavelength in meters gives me a photon energy of 3.41 times 10 to the minus 18th joules. And now I can calculate. The ionization energy is the photon energy minus the kinetic energy. And for this case, I get a photon uh, energy minus kinetic energy of 0 0.67 times 10 to the minus 18th joules. So this is the ionization energy of rubidium atoms calculated in a photoelectron spectroscopy experiment.